Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and today we're going to be taking a look at the Laser Machine TBK 958 to show you one of the other features that it has other than lasering off of the back glass and the bezel on the iPhones. So let's get into the video. The TBK 958ZE. A Samsung Edge screen laser separation tutorial is what we'll be going over today. When working on a Samsung Edge screen, do not place the screen on the platform initially and initiate the focus. Right here with the red laser, you'll be able to see we've brought it into focus. Then we can tilt the platform down 45 degrees. On the bottom of the platform, we can see that there is a block that will allow us to pivot the plate down. And there's a metal limit block that secures with a screw. This will come in handy to prevent the screen from moving. It will also allow us to manually adjust the height of the screen. Here you can see we have a display. This one has a little bit of damage, but it's perfect for this example. We'll make sure everything works on it, the touch and the display. Now we'll set it down on the angled platform and adjust the height so that we can get it in line with the laser. Ensure the highest point of the screen edge is level with the laser. Then we can tighten the screw and make sure it stays. We'll click on phone, select Samsung, and we'll select the corresponding template. We'll select remove screen, and select the current model we're working on, which is the Note 22 Ultra. We have the infrared preview that we can select. You can see that we have our speed at 2000, our power at 20% and our frequency at 20 as well. Right click the template, click F to enter the drawing settings and set the fill angle to 90 degrees. We'll click F1 so that we can see the red light preview to make sure everything's level and we'll start the laser process. You can see that it'll go across the edge and then we'll rotate the screen 180 degrees and repeat the same process for the other edge. And see how much it's etched. It's completely removed the painted and adhesive side of the display there. And we can see that the display still works along with the touch and there are no issues. Now we will set the screen with the frame on a heating platform so that we can begin the remainder of the refurbishing process. We'll set the heat to 120 Celsius to maybe 140 Celsius and wait for it to warm up. And the best way we found to start this process is carefully go and cut the corners of the glass on the edge of the screen. This will allow us to insert the wire in a much easier fashion. There is a layer of OCA that will allow us to not damage the display, but you still have to be careful. We'll come in with some isopropyl alcohol and a cutting wire, and we'll carefully remove that section that we cut. We can move the jig so that it makes it easier to work with and we'll do the same thing on the other side. A single drop with a little cut. And rotate the jig and clamp it in a more comfortable position to start the wire cutting. We'll slip the wire under the glass and slowly start to separate this corner. And we'll move it around and start cutting on the other corner. And this next part basically comes with experience. 
understanding that the amount of tension that you need to put using the right hand and the left and how far you can push things before you would want to switch and start cutting from the other direction. And over time, this will become much more simple and you will be able to correct for any mistakes that you make. Allowing for the wire to continuously feed under the edge without putting too much strain on the display, potentially causing issues with the image and touch. We can cut and remove the entire glass. And we'll test it one more time just to make sure everything is still working and we can finish the repair from here with a glass and OCA installation. Now, if you haven't refurbished before, maybe this isn't all that impressive because it's just etching a single line. But if you know anything about refurbishing Samsung curved screens, you'll understand how amazing this is to be able to do something like this. This helps so much with these types of repairs. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's something that you'd like to see in a future video, let me know as well. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.